Today, we're breaking down iPad OS 26.2 Beta 2, a fresh test update for the iPad that Apple released just a few days ago. We'll look at which devices can install it, how big the update is, what's new in features and interface changes, which bugs have already been fixed, which issues are still hanging around, and most importantly, how it performs in terms of speed, heat, and battery life if you install this beta on your main iPad. iPad OS 26.2 Beta 2 was released on November 12, 2025, alongside iOS 26.2 Beta 2. The over-the-air update size depends on your model and which version you're coming from. On iPhone, the package is roughly 1.7 to 2.1 gigabytes, and for iPad OS 26.2 Beta 2, the numbers are almost identical. That's a typical size for a second beta of a mid-cycle update. And as always, make sure you have enough free space. Aim for 8 to 10 gigabytes available, so the OTA update installs without errors. The official build number for iPad OS 26.2 Beta 2 is 23C5033G. This is confirmed by multiple sources, including developer-distributed iOS and iPadOS builds, Mac Magazine XB, and others. Some IPSW and OTA tracking sites list the suffix 23C5033H, which is most likely an alternate server-side variant of the same build. The main idea is simple. iPadOS 26.2 isn't a huge update. It's a careful refinement of 26.1, but there are still plenty of meaningful changes. Some features appeared back in Beta 1, and Beta 2 builds on top of them. Here's what you can already notice on iPad. There's a new urgent option in Reminders. You can mark any reminder as urgent and it triggers a dedicated alarm style alert. This works on both iPhone and iPad, making it useful for tasks you genuinely can't afford to miss. It adds a clearer sense of priority for anything time sensitive. Apple Podcasts gets a more advanced layout. You now get automatic chapters, richer episode descriptions, and a more intuitive navigation bar. On the iPad's larger display, the new timeline feels almost like a lightweight video editor. This makes long episodes easier to move through. Apple News has a refreshed structure. Sections and the sidebar were redesigned to make switching between topics and magazines smoother. The updated layout reduces the number of taps needed to reach the content you want. It feels more organized and easier to scan on a large screen. Freeform now supports tables. You can insert tables directly onto boards, bringing more structure to your notes and planning. Combined with Apple Pencil, this turns Freeform into, into a mix between a whiteboard and a light spreadsheet tool. It helps when working with mixed content like sketches, handwriting, and numbers. Apple Music now supports offline lyrics. Lyrics can be downloaded locally, so synced text continues to work even without an internet connection. This is convenient when using the iPad on the go or in places with weak connectivity. It keeps playback consistent regardless of your network situation. Liquid glass on the lock screen gets a small upgrade. There's a new slider that lets you adjust the transparency of the clock and other lock screen elements. In Beta 2, Apple refined the animations to make liquid glass feel more elastic and responsive. The motion looks smoother and closer to the version shown at WWDC. Official release notes for iOS, iPadOS 26.2 focus on developer changes, store kit fixes, corrected allocation reporting, and updated TLS client hello guidance. Community reports note that 26.2 Beta 2 feels more stable, with fewer UI stutters, and the updated modem firmware reduces ping spikes for some carriers. Remaining issues include Safari crashing on launch for some devices, delays in photos when selecting text, and App Store updates not loading over Wi-Fi until Wi-Fi is turned off. These problems may vary on iPad, but stability is not guaranteed in a beta. In terms of performance, there's no major jump, which is actually a good sign. Tests for iOS 26.2 Beta 2 show slightly lower single-core and slightly higher multi-core Geekbench scores compared to 26.1, all within normal variants, so the update feels just as fast but more polished. Apple also continues refining liquid glass animations, making window transitions, app launches, and multitasking gestures smoother. For iPad, this means Stage Manager and the new windowing environment remain stable. And on M-Series iPad Pro and newer iPad Air models, testers describe the experience as the same speed with fewer micro lags. Battery behavior in 26.2 Beta 2 remains stable. 
Early tests and user reports show minimal changes compared to 26.1, with some noting slight improvements. Estimates like about one hour of screen time per 10% of battery apply to iPad as well, and there is no widespread battery drain. Right after updating, the system re-indexes photos, files, and caches, which can cause extra heat and faster drain for one to two days. A rare background process can also occasionally consume more power, which is typical for beta builds. Battery health is not affected by the update itself and depends on long-term charging habits and temperature. iPadOS 26.2 Beta 2 does not change the system structure in a way that consumes significantly more storage. IPSW files for this version are around 7 to 8 gigabytes, and the OTA package is about 2 gigabytes. The system requires additional free space for unpacking, so 8 to 10 gigabytes available is recommended. Some users see a temporary increase in system data after updating, which returns to normal once indexing is complete. No new visual storage management tools have been added. The next update in the 26.2 cycle is expected to arrive around mid-December. Apple typically finalizes these minor releases just before the holiday period, and the current beta timeline fits that pattern. If beta 3 appears within the next one to two weeks, it will likely be followed by a release candidate shortly after. A full public release should land once Apple confirms stability across all supported devices. Overall, iPadOS 26.2 Beta 2 feels like a solid step forward in refining the 26 series experience. It doesn't introduce massive features, but it smooths out animations, improves core apps, and maintains stable performance and battery behavior. Bugs still exist as expected from a beta, yet the system already feels close to release quality. If Apple keeps this pace, the final version should arrive polished, stable, and ready for everyday use.